Sujal, thank you very much for being here. A pleasure to speak to you. Nice We're to see just you. talking that we met first time maybe 10 years ago, yes. or something like this. So it had been a long journey. time. And I'm very excited to, to learn more about JSW, what you guys are doing here currently in India in terms of real estate, but I know it's a large It's a large group. group. Yes. So JSW essentially has uh, primarily like eight, nine businesses. We're in the B2B space and in the B2C space. In B2B, we're in steel, cement, energy, infra. In B2C, we're in paint, real estate, sports, venture, JSW1 platform. So we're a large conglomerate. But essentially, at the end of the day, you know, our goal is to just make a better India and to contribute in the right way of the development of the country. In real estate, it's been a very similar take and methodology. We've entered the space in terms of the public realm. Our business is focused only on bespoke residential. So our ideology when we began the company was to create residential developments in a way where we could reimagine design thinking and we could also contribute to sustainable architecture and moving forward with that thought process to show a path forward for future generations. So our first flagship project, Morena House on Carmichael Road, for example, is pre-platinum rated. We used a full facade so it reduces the heat um, consumption and load on the building. We've used glass, which is triple rated performance glass. It's the same glass company that Apple uses for its retail stores. These are small nuance points, but they contribute to this thinking of reimagining also sustainable architecture. We've also created a floor plate in that project, which is very unique and different because it consists of four bays. Um, those units were all five and a half thousand, the most prestigious part of Bombay on Carmine oh, Road. Subsequently, we've taken South Bombay as a starting point and have started some new projects um, in South Bombay and now various other locations of Bombay. And we're looking outside of Bombay as well. And what inspires you to, to go to this direction? I think what really inspires us is to be able to create a sophistication of for the customer that doesn't exist in the market. So it's creating an experience which is very different, which is very unique, which is Indian by all means, but it has a lot of global positive influence, which is streamlined for the Indian audience. And what I mean by that is that we're not slapping Italian marble around in a lobby and calling it a good development. We're thinking contextually, interior and architecturally as to how the product should be made for the Indian market and for the location we are in that city. And our inspiration comes from that because there's a huge consumption now of luxury real estate by Indians across the country. And I think their expectation is that there'll be a group like ours that can deliver something fresh, new, and exciting. To them. Final question. Do you see the whole uh, scenario in the world with the problems with Russia, Ukraine, mm -hmm. Middle East, Europe, the US, do you think this is giving opportunity for India to become even a better destination for foreign capital? Do you think more money will come from foreign investors because of the scenario? So I think there's two types of two types of ways to answer that question. Yes, at a fundamental level, India is going to attract a great amount of capital. But we have to realize that India has a large population living outside of India. Indian people all over the world who are extremely wealthy. And they continue to invest back home every day. And I think India just positioned today globally is very different. And it's a growth engine that's going to move to a 10 trillion economy very quickly. And I feel as we increase that, the consumption will increase and the expectation of good quality homes is going to increase every day. Fantastic. Sujal, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.